Hello, my lovelies. Uh, it's been a while once again. Uh, sorry about that. A lot of real life stuff going on, but I'm also playing Dark and Darker all the while. Uh, still grinding solo high roller. Although, you know, it's feeling a bit different these days. A lot of Dark and Darker content creators have already given their take on this subject. Uh, you probably know what I'm talking about at this point. Uh, it's the just absolute insane amount of teaming in solo high roller, which is uh, pretty much the main way I play the game these days. So for those of you who watch me regularly, you know I'm not a supercharged bloodthirsty player. I mean, I like a good scrap every now and then, and I try to find fights more often than not. But you know, even for me, I find the, the level of teaming currently in solo high roller is a bit unacceptable. Uh, it's just unfortunate if you're looking for a fair fight or as fair as fights can be. I mean, you know, everybody's susceptible to getting third partied. Like, the uncertainty of being third or fourth partied is, like, super chaotic, and I love that about the game, where, where things can get so chaotic, they're unpredictable, uncertain. Uh, but now, if you try to have a fight, you're, you're likely, uh, more certainly, gonna be hunted down by a posse of, like, five or six plus players all wanting to team and deeming you unfriendly. For essentially playing the game the way it's sort of supposed to be, I mean, it's a solo high roller mode. It's not... 5v1, 6v1, v1, v1, you know? You know, it's like a big group of people who decide to team in the middle of the map and then they are just driven by mob mentality and will just seek out and wipe whoever isn't part of the team. It's a team or be teamed on, you know? Uh, this mob mentality can be inaccurate and misguided at times. I was actually almost killed by one of these teams by being an innocent bystander, essentially. Uh, I was trying to third party this fighter who was fighting somebody else and this other person that the other fighter was fighting ran off and like, you know, rounded up the troops because they were part of the team Team. Uh, so this team comes rolling through and they're trying to find the fighter that was fighting that other guy but a member of their team mistakenly thought that I was the perpetrator and started attacking me. So like, what am I supposed to do here? Am I supposed to, do I fight, fight back and defend myself and then have the whole team turn on me and be like, oh, this guy's unfriendly too, or, or what, you know? It just led to a really awkward situation. Oh, good dodge. Well, let's reload behind here. Oh my god, am I really gonna get teamed on by these two? Oh wait, these guys are teaming? Whoa, whoa, what is... Wrong fella! Jesus, what a mess. So I was almost teamed on because of misidentification, you know, like me going over Void being like, dude, you have the wrong person apparently isn't going to be enough and I shouldn't even have to do that. There, there shouldn't even be such thing as a wrong person in solo high roller. Like everybody's in it for themselves, you know, so it's just so weird that these situations have arisen. It's, it's just really awkward. And this is coming from somebody who is a fan of emergent gameplay. I don't think they should remove all teaming, but it shouldn't be every single lobby, like straight up. For me personally, I, I'm, you can see I'm Voyager now. Uh, I've been climbing through Voyager and just... 100% of lobbies is just friendly Care Bear teaming, man. Nobody wants to fight. And I mean, you could seek some fights early on before the, the big posse forms, right? But like, it's not even worth it from an AP perspective at that point, you know? Like, nobody has looted anything yet. You don't get anything from looting, like, their gear, so like, why even seek a fight early? But you know, I have faith in Iron Mace. I'm sure they're going to try some stuff out. You know, I've been seeing some suggestions being thrown around where like, you know, an obvious one is, is give more AP per player kill. Sure, but that can lead to like a, maybe too aggressive gameplay. Uh, I know Firebox actually made an interesting suggestion where you have like a, a player kill allotment, you know, where like, hey, you kill one player, you get like 100 or 200 AP or something, he said, and I thought that was an interesting idea. You know, you kill one player and then, hey, you're good. You're good for that that level, you know, you go down to crypts, maybe find another player kill. It, it de you know, disincentivizes like massive, like just trying to wipe the lobby to gain as much AP as possible since you could, it only counts for one kill. Or maybe have diminishing returns, you know, where it's like, hey, 100 for the first kill, 50 for the next, 25 for the one after that, and then zero after three. I don't know. Honestly, if you want my personal take on like the most unsatisfying part of 
not just teaming in high roller, but like the adventure point system overall, when, when it comes to PvP, is that when you run into somebody and they, they like out gear you or you both have equal gear and you have this just amazing fight where you just, you're, you know, you're chasing, you're, there's back and forth, you're chasing each other with frannies, you both run out of frannies, you're, you're both just playing well, you pop your abilities and it's just down to just like beating each other into the dirt. And then one of you arises the victor with like a, a sliver of health, you know? And it feels so satisfying to, to just get that victory. And then, you know, if you're a fighter, you run off and get your second win back. But then you go to loot this player who had some good gear or, or perhaps outgeared you. Maybe they had a god kit and it doesn't mean anything from an adventure points perspective, you know? It was just like such a letdown to have this amazing, just, you know, heart racing fight and then just be like, oh doesn't matter. I would argue those are the most challenging parts of the game too, just having a good PvP fight compared to just some, you know, slaying PvE all day. So for me personally, I don't see why a uh, handled gear from a player can't revert back to looted status uh, if it's a god kit with like amazing upgrades, because it feels bad to take upgrades from a player that you kill, uh, especially if they're great ones. It doesn't matter. It's handled gear, so it doesn't count for any adventure points, and you'll, you can lose points for taking decent upgrades. You know, it's all about like inventory space. So, so why not just have handled gear when looted from a player revert back to looted? I mean, you're literally looting the gear from the player, right? I, I really think you should, like, the gear that you get from a player, their armor, any upgrades should revert to the looted status when you steal it off of them. I think that would incentivize PvP, and it would feel good to kill somebody with good gear. Like, it matters, and it should matter. It's, it's challenging. That's super challenging. Now, you know, potential problems for this, I guess, are people who would who would gear sniff, like, pre-match, and, like, be like, oh, we need to, like, form a posse and kill this dude right here in, like, the full epics or whatever who has, like, god roll, a god roll kit but you know maybe, maybe just remove gear sniffing like pre-match you know what i mean like don't, don't let people inspect each other i don't really think that's necessary like i don't know how many of you would miss the gear sniffing and inspecting uh before a match i personally would not miss it you know just like people running up to you and seeing if they can like take you on or if you're amazing you're wearing some good stuff to like try and form a posse to hunt you down you know just don't let them do it just you know if you want to fight me just just go for it bud i'll see you in the match uh but to be honest i, I think iron mace is probably going to implement a fairly major change soon i mean they said they're gonna have a major patch before the end of the month i mean with like you know, either the ice map, druid, uh, both? Probably not both. But you know, a lot of people are talking about this, and I imagine they would include some changes to the adventure point system uh, with it, with with whatever the next patch is, whenever it hits. It should be, I imagine it might be this week or next. Though it is unfortunate because I feel like this might devalue the people who have already gotten to Demigod, you know, essentially on Easy Street. Like, if they choose to change the adventure point system before the end of the season, uh, people now will have, a, in quotes, more difficult time ranking up, you know, if, if, if there is more PvP, if they, if they make portals worth less adventure points or something. Uh, it sounds like it, they could increase the difficulty, which means that the de people who have reached Demigod now uh, have had easier time than people who reached Demigod in the latter half of the season. So I don't know if uh, it makes sense to wait till the end of the season before changing the adventure point system or what. But, you know, it's an early access game. They, they, they might just try it out anyway. I mean, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. But until then, I mean, I, I suggest playing these lobbies like Among Us. I know a lot of people have been talking about this and it clicked in my head as well as I was playing because uh, I stumbled across some dude who was just dead. I was like, wait a second. There's no way he died to this random ass skeleton here. There's just no way. What happened here? What happened to this guy? This is suspicious. This is seriously like Among Us now, dude. Who killed this guy? It also came to mind when I was uh, talking to a team and I was like, oh, you know what? This guy doesn't have boots. You need boots? I found some boots in this uh, coffin over here. Here, follow me. It's not a trick, I promise. And this bar just follows me, just pure, full trust, just follows me out to this coffin. And we're both alone. I'm like, I thought, I was like, man, I could just kill him right now. Oh, you know what? I saw a pair of uh, epic heavy boots back there. Uh, they're kind of in the circle now, but they had some pretty good rolls. Should have brought them for me. Should have known that you were gonna find me, buddy. Oh, you know what? You know what? Come here. Come here. I, I bet you I can find him. Hold up. <laughs> let's let's do this. Let's see if we can do this. I swear to God, I found it. Hold on. Dude, let's go over this way. So crazy. It's in the graveyard. It was somewhere around here. Hold up. I think. Hmm. Yeah, I could just like kill this guy right now. I didn't do it that time, but I easily could have and been like, oh my god, some barb just attacked both of us. You know, you got you gotta work on your acting skills, I guess, when you when you like rejoin the team. But you know what? So some distrust in these teams, man. If if you can catch one of them, if you can isolate one of these teamers by themselves, dude, totally take the kill. I I yeah, you know, I'm gonna roll some clips here because I did the same thing. They're just loot pin, loot pinatas, you know, especially in crypts. There's gonna they're gonna have trinkets from ruins. You might as well. If you catch somebody by themselves, dude, just kill them. Just kill them. Pretend like you're teaming if you know they're one of the teamers from the previous round and just 
just kill him. That's what I suggest. Just sow some, like, you know, chaos and discord. I think uh, the trust will go down. I don't think ultimately overall the teaming is going to stop until Iron Mace changes something. But I feel like this is something we can do, dude. They're, they're easy targets, man. If you isolate somebody who is expecting to team, easy target. You can get the first few hits, too. Like, it, you, you really should not feel bad. Like, I know I don't. And I usually feel bad about betraying people. But in this state, nah. All right, Han, he's going back. Oh my goodness, bro. I honestly, I don't even feel that bad, man. I think he's isolated. We might try to kill this guy. Dude, listen, I feel no remorse. I feel no remorse. Yeah, he has some good treasure. He had a lot of lockpicks too, damn. That's gonna be it for this one, guys. Uh, but you know, I got some more videos on the way. I got some more gameplay videos coming up. I got uh, a barbarian damage video that I wanna make that's uh, kind of in the works and you know, collect all the weapons, kind of like the Slayer damage comparison video that I did a while back. So yeah, keep an eye out for those, but you know, till then, be easy, guys.